dear students today we will talk about logical operators so we have learned about arithmetic operators we have learned about uh, relational operators so now we want to learn about logical operators what are logical operators in fact uh, you must understand that we want to control the flow and when we want to control the flow then we do not want to use only one condition so one if statement is not necessary in fact in our case we want to use multiple statements for example if i want to say that if your cgpa is greater than 3 and your age is less than 20 then you should get the scholarship so this means we have two conditions and both of the conditions should be satisfied to fully satisfy the overall condition and when both of the conditions are true then we should get the output that you have achieved the scholarship if either of the condition is false either his or her uh, cgpa is less than 3 or his age or her age is greater than 20 in that case that student should not get the scholarship so normally we have such multiple situations when we want to make sure that all of these statements are true so such a, such of the operators we studied in computer architecture uh, related modules which were and or and not operators so you must remember that when we studied and operator we write something like this so for 1 1 it is producing the output 1 for 0 1 0 for 1 0 it is again 0 and for 0 0 it is 0 so this and operator only works when both of the situations are both of the conditions are true and how to write this code in c++ language we need to write this statement so if cgpa is greater than 3 and age is less than 20 so this and operator which we learned in computer architecture this and operator is replaced or changed using these symbols so you need to write two times and 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 this and will mean that if this condition is true so for example if his or her cgp is 4 so this condition will become true and if his or her age is 19 so this condition will also true if both of the conditions are true then we will get this message whatever we have written over here and the next operator is or operator so the or operator we also studied in computer architecture that if either of the conditions are true the overall result will, will become true and in not operator we said that it toggles the previous situation or previous state so for example if we have true condition so if you put not that condition will become false and if we have already false condition and you put not before it it will become if it was false it will become true and if it was true it will become false so we have cgpa let's say it is 3 and int age is 19 so it is saying if cgpa is greater than equal to 3 and age is less than equal to 20 so in this situation you should display the message you have achieved the scholarship so any guesses we have cgpa 3 so 3 is greater than equal to 3 this condition is true and we have age 19 so 19 is less than equal to 20 this condition is also true so if both of the conditions are true we should get this message on screen so let's try to run it and yes we have got this message so let's try to change one of the 
field. So, for example, if the student age is 21, so in this case, the CGPA is 3, this condition is meeting, but this condition is not meeting. So, the age is 21. So, 21 is less than equal to 20. This condition is false. So, if either of the condition is false, you are not getting the scholarship. However, if you write here the or statement, or, let's do it this way, or age is less than equal to 20. So, in this situation, if any of the condition is true, you will get this statement. So, as you can see, this CGPA is greater than or equal to 3, this condition is true. However, the age is less than or equal to 20, this condition is false. But our operator will give you the overall result as true because one of the condition is true. So, you should get the message. Yes. And similarly, you can use the NOT operator. So, this NOT operator means if the inner side is true, which is the case at the moment. So, not true mean not true means the false situation. So, for example, we can also put brackets for just clarity. So, we sh did not get any of the result because the inner condition was true and we have used not before that condition. So, the true condition becomes false. However, if you use and here, so, you know that the inner condition has now become false because the age is greater than or equal to 21. So, in this condition, this is false. However, we have used not outside of this false condition. So, this the result overall result will become true and you should get this message. Yes, we have achieved this message. So, this is what we have learned the logical operators and we have seen that the logical operators are very important when we want to uh, deal with multiple conditions and we want to control the flow of our program based on more than one conditions and more than one conditions can be checked simultaneously by using AND operator. So, both or all of the conditions should be true and multiple conditions can be checked using OR operator, which means any of all of those conditions are true or you can use the NOT operator to say otherwise that if the inner side uh, statement, the overall condition is false, that NOT will give you true and if in inside the statement result is true, then using NOT outside will become false.